What is up, YouTube? Well, I got another new addition to this Silverado that I got. Um, I haven't seen a lot of videos about it. There is one guy that is replacing his tail light, and in order to get to his tail light, headlight, my bad, um, he has to figure out how to get that headlight out and remove it. So he is going through trial and error and trying to get that front uh, grill off and that plastic balance and stuff like that and finally gets to it. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do today. Now, I'm gonna try to make it easy for you guys. I'm gonna try to keep the steps all nice and simple so then this way it's not one super long video of me messing everything up like I always do. So I'm gonna try to do everything quick. My only issue is it's gonna take me a little time. Why? Because I'm an idiot. <sighs> Let me show you. Right there. That is an issue because I got to pull that off now. And I did it on the other side. There we go. Twice the work, baby. I pull it off. Gonna have to retake this tape off, reclean it, and put two brand new ones on. No bueno. It sucks, but oh well. That's my fault, not yours. Um, let me show you quick how to get this started. We got three screws in the wheel well. You got one right here that you need to move, another one right here, and another one right here. They have to get out because that's what's holding this whole piece together. You don't take these out on both sides, it's, you're gonna have a rough time getting that out. So, T15, torque screws, get those out, okay? We're gonna go ahead and try to remove that other part on the other side. Okay guys. Excuse the noise, I have gardeners. Let me go ahead and try and do this. I already got this pretty much good to go. This is the dry, uh, passenger side. So you got three screws that you need to loosen, not remove. They're inside the, this well. So there's one, one right there, one right there, and then there's another one hidden in the back, right there. So you're gonna to wanna to loosen them. You're not gonna to wanna to take them off completely because then that bracket will come off. When you loosen them, what happens is this little part, remember you gotta take the three screws out on the inside, that will basically loosen this and now you just kinda of lift up, pull out, boom, there you go. And then reverse the process when you guys go back. So there you go. Excuse me, no, I'm sorry again. Gardeners wanna come and mess up my show but we'll get this going for you guys. All right guys, so when you pull that off, you have these little tabs right here. You're gonna pull them out. They go right in. And you got tabs that are gonna go in right here as well. You pull those out. If you break them, you can buy them. I'll go ahead and post that on the, on the description. Mine didn't break. So they come right here. So you can have two tabs right here and you're gonna have two tabs up here. Pop them out, they come right out and everything just basically comes out right here you're gonna pull off that front balance part and i just threw it in the back saved you guys a little time um, you're gonna pop off these screws right here one two three four now this is for the actual part of I'm trying to get that for you it's a 10 millimeter and that's gonna take the grill off so it, also these right here they're kind of popped in you can see there's little screws right there or I'm sorry little pins pop them out on both sides before you pull this baby out so I took off the old grill put the new one on there she is let's say goodbye to white you know what she was good but Got something a little bit better it's not 100 percent done you will see but i'm just going to show you how i took it off and bam put it on look at that look at that okay it's not 100 percent you'll get the bunny shot at the end but look at this look at that i'm going to stay with the wide down below just because i'm not trying to bite off the head of the truck you know what i'm talking about if you watch the channel but 
let me show you real quick what happens. You got some tabs that come in right here, pop them back in, okay? You got these screws that go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven 10 millimeter screws that come out. Once you pop those screws out, you take this whole thing and the rest just comes out. It's basically held in by, uh, by pushing connectors. That's it. That's how you get that out. Now, you're gonna go ahead and reverse the whole process that I just showed you by taking off the valance, by putting it all back in, tightening those screws, making it a lot easier for you. Um, so, once again, those screws, you're gonna wanna take them out, pop this bad boy out, put your new one in, do what you gotta do, bam. There you go. My OCD got me cleaning this a little bit. I'm gonna do that while you guys go ahead and skip to the next scene. Guys, I think we got rid of him for a second, so I got her all back together for you. Not 100%. You'll get the little montage at the end. But here we go. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit louder because, yeah. What do you guys think? Look at that. You like the white or do you like the black? Because I like the black. Like I said, this is something that you guys can go ahead. You know, if you like it, you do it yourself. You need to fix it. I can help you out because at least now you know how to go ahead and remove that for your your headlights, for your, your grill, your bumpers, anything that you need to do to fix it. I'm here to help you out. I'm here to take the time and do what I can for you guys. All you have to do is like the channel and subscribe to it that's it i don't know it's not hard it's hard for me but not for you guys but okay tell me what you guys think guys there you go um, hopefully that helped you guys out whether you need help taking your headlights your grill anything to that that fascia hopefully that helped you out I did my best to try to help you guys with uh, you know trying to get it all step by step so if it helped you great go ahead and just leave a comment thumbs up uh, go ahead and just like the channel if you can go ahead and subscribe because I get some more coming but look at that Come on, man. Look how pretty that is. You can't tell me it's not. Thanks a lot. Come back for the next one. Peace.